Hi, I'm James from Soli Hall Music Service and today we're going to take things right back to basics with three of what I consider to be the most important rock and pop beats. Now, you may have already learned these. These are really basic and I've combined them with three basic fills as well. Um, these can be good if you're completely new to drumming or if you're just refreshing from having a first lesson or forgot the basics of the, the uh, the essentials. So I'll go through this very quickly. I'll quickly explain the names of the drums as well, just in case you've forgotten that. We've got the bass drum, played with the right foot if you're right-handed. Uh, snare drum, uh, one of the most important drums. We've got the hi-hats, usually to the left of you. Can be played closed or open, like that. We've got our three toms, which is standard on a, a normal uh, standard set of kit. First tom, second tom, and floor tom. This can be called high, mid and low uh, toms and this is often referred to as the floor tom as well. We've got crashes on this kit, two crashes and over to my right ride cymbal. If you are a left-handed student you will reverse everything round so you'll be playing the bass drum with your left foot, controlling the hi-hat with your right foot and your left hand could be on the hi-hats, right hand on the snare. You just mirror image the kit uh, but today we're going to be work, assuming you're a right-handed player. So, um, let's get started with the basics then. As you know, left hand over the snare, right hand over the top on the hi-hats. Beat one is this. Probably heard it on loads of different tracks. This is probably the most important beat of all. So, going to take it really slow and break it down into three simple steps. The first step is just um, hi-hat and snare. You can start this first step by just adding the hi-hat and I recommend just counting one and two and uh, repeatedly. So one and two and one and two and tap at the same time as you count. Just get used to that and then we're gonna add the snare drum on beat two. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. Keep repeating that, build up the confidence. You want to build up some muscle memory with this. After you've done that, you want to. I always go to the hi hat and bass next, so forget about your snare drum. That left hand can stay by your side. And first of all, just try a bass drum and hi hat together, like that. Bass drum and hi hat together. Then count one and two and again, but you're going to play your bass drum every time you say beat one. So we're going to go one and two. You want to repeat both of these patterns for a lot longer than I have, um, probably somewhere between about one, maybe even five minutes, just so they feel really natural, um, really good to work on that muscle memory. The, so that's the second stage anyway, the third stage is to combine the, or those, both of those parts together. So beat one is the bass drum, beat two is the snare drum, so that's where you count. Hi-hats are still going to count one and two and your right hand plays the hi-hat and just continues one and two and one and two and. That and on the end is really important. You definitely don't want to miss that out and please do count. I get loads of students forgetting to count and the whole beat gets broken up. They forget the and on the end and they end up with something like this. One and two, one and two, one and two. Or worse, so bass drum on one, snare drum on two, hi-hats play on all the beats. I'm going to take this really slow. One and two. Again, you want to repeat that loads uh, until it starts to feel quite natural, until that muscle memory starts to kick in. And then gradually build up the speed, just a very slight amount each time, until you can get to um, something that feels comfortable, and then you're probably going to be at the stage where you can maybe play along to some songs. Um, by the way, this beat is played on probably millions of tracks. It's uh, one of the most essential beats. Um, one, some of the songs I recommend are on the sheet, so Human by Rag and Bone Man, Eye of the Tiger, uh, Billie Jean, another one Bites the Dust, all really good examples of tracks you can have a play along with. I, reckon, um, I recommend Human by Rag and Bone Man as one of the first tracks to have a go with. So build that up. If you want to play something like Billie Jean, let's say, it's going to be a fair bit faster, so around this sort of speed.
that's kind of thing. Okay, moving along to beat two. This is um, same sort of thing, but with two bass drums. I refer to this a lot of the time as uh, Wheel Rocky. Two bass drums, one snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. Um, so this is what it sounds like. That's your beat. So um, two different ways of counting this. You can do the same as before and go one and two and. So both the first two parts of the count, the one and the and, I've got the bass drum with it. Um, and then two is the snare and is the hi-hat on the end. One and two and one and two and. Remember to keep it really slow. Okay, so that's your beat two. Uh, and again, you want to build up speed. You can count it bass, bass, snare, and that's what I recommend. It just rolls off the tongue a little bit easier and it's more logical, let's say. So we're going to go bass, bass, snare, and bass, bass, snare, and bass, bass, snare, and bass, bass, snare, and. Okay, again, repeat that loads, get really confident with it. Um, and then just start building the speed up slightly as you go. Beat three, onto that. This is a combination of the two beats. The first half is beat one, the second half is beat two. Combined together, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. Bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. Can be a good idea to vocalize some of these beats. Um, so with this one, we're gonna go bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. One, two, three, and four. One, You'll notice I'm counting on this one. I'm just counting the basses and the snares. One, two, three, and four. Hi-hat continues playing on all the beats and all the notes. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And that gives you beat three. I'll go a little bit slower for you. One, two, three, and four. Four bass. Okay, now I, you'll see on the sheet, I've um, added three different fills to accompany these beats. Really simple fills that you can learn within a few seconds, hopefully. Um, right, so fill one, all I've done is I've doubled up the snare. Um, this is about as easy as it gets. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm just doubling up that last snare, four and, um, and you go like that. After you get more confident with all these patterns, by the way, it's a good idea to try the crash. Um, so I'll get through these fills and I'll show you how to add the crash after. Um, fill two, you've got the two bass drums. Um, and then we've got this fill, just the snare and the floor tom played together uh, four times. This fill is used in loads of different build-ups. You'll hear that, that sort of fill uh, um, used in loads of build-ups, um, especially indie tracks, rock tracks. Uh, it's a really common pattern. So with this one then, um, I always recommend um, with all these fills, go around in a one bar loop if you can. Uh, just gets you used to going from the beat to the fill. So um, with this one then, we just play bass, bass, snare, and bass, bass, snare, and Okay, that's fill two. Fill three, a little bit more complicated. We're gonna go right, left, right, right, left, right. So it's a right, left, right on the snare, followed by a right, left, right on the first tom. Really good to just get used to repeating that, first of all. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Again, repeat, speed it up incrementally. Um, and then we can try it with the pattern. So we're gonna go one, and two and right left right, 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 right. and two and right. 
Okay. As I mentioned earlier, it's a really good idea to um, start your beats off with a crash, or after any fill, you want to add a crash. You hear drummers playing this all the time, adding crashes at certain points in the song, um, especially whenever a song starts or the drums start, and mostly after every fill, pretty much after every fill. So um, let's try, let's, let's start off by adding the crash, and what we're going to do is substitute that first hi-hat of the bar for a crash. Now what I'm going to do is do even less than that. I'm going to do a half bar loop, the one and two and that we were counting earlier. But we're going to swap the one. Instead of a hi-hat on beat one, we're going to play a crash on the first beat of the bar. Okay, so first of all, let's just try a crash and a bass drum. By the way, eight times, nine times out of ten, when you play a crash, it's going to be with a bass drum. So if someone asks for a pattern, sorry, asks for a crash, they don't want that. Usually they want that. It's with a bass. It just sounds much more meaty and fat. So, um, like that. You want to practice the crash in your bass drum together quite a few times. Get used to that. And then we're going to put it in that pattern. We're going to go one and two and 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 one. That's the easiest way to get started. As soon as you've got that, move on to the full bar. So you're going to count it one and two and three and four and. That's bass drums on one and three, snare drums on two and four. Getting a bit complicated now, but stick with me. We're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, so that's your crash. As soon as you've got that, I'll skip on to beat three. It's a little bit easier than beat two. So then you go one. Simply one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Whichever works for you. When you're feeling confident with those two and maybe play along to a few tracks with them or build the tempo up either way, then you might be ready for beat two. So this one is a little bit more complex because you're going to hit a crash with the bass drum and then a hi-hat with the bass drum straight after. And then of course you've got your snare followed by your hi-hat. So we're going to go. And again, you might want to start with a half bar loop. So you go one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and, one and two. As soon as you've got that half bar, extend it to the full bar. Essentially, we're going bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare. Um, and the first bass bass snare has a crash. Okay? Bass, bass, snare, and bass, bass, snare, and bass. So you've got a bass bass snare with a crash, followed by a bass bass snare without a crash. That's because there's two bass bass snares per bar. I think it just went wrong there. Okay, so that is beat two with a crash. Um, and also a good idea to try all your fills with a crash. Eventually, ideally, as it's written on the sheet, you want to play three bars, the first three bars, which are beat, and then the last bar of all my patterns on the sheet is the bar that includes the fill. So then playing a four bar loop, uh, rotating round the bar, a looping bar around the bars, um, with a crash, ideally at the start. So here's all the fills with crashes, just going through them quickly. One, two, three, Moving on to fill two, we're going to go. Okay, moving on to fill three, we're going to go one, two, right back there. Okay. So that finishes off this lesson. Please do try and play along to some of the examples that are on the sheet. They'll help a lot. Playing to songs improves your pattern overall. Uh, you get that repetition, but it also works on your timing uh, and your muscle memory. 
and the synchronization with the songs is really important because drumming is all about the timing. So have fun with those. I uh, hope they've helped and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.